Welcome to the Finite Math Podcast. In episode 22, we saw how to use the histogram tool to tabulate data into a frequency distribution. Now, sometimes we don't want to tabulate the exact data values just because there's too many of these. Instead, what we'd want to do is to group the values into some reasonable number of categories so that we can get an overall picture of just what kind of trends the data has. Now, I've got a set of data here that is the years of, of birth for each of the uh, U.S. Senators in the 110th Congress. Of course, I realize the will change in uh, a couple weeks, but this is a data set we can work with now. Now, uh, to figure out how to group these 100 numbers into a reasonable range, we should figure out uh, what the smallest and the largest number is. So let's see if we can find the smallest number first. Uh, so that's done by the, using the minimum function, equal min of, and we want to put these range of numbers in there. Well, I can click the first number, hold the shift key, press in, then the down arrow, and it tabulates and get the whole list. Close it with a parenthesis. Yeah, let's see what we've got. Oh, I have to hit enter. Okay, so 1917 was the very first, uh, is the oldest person. Now, what about the, the youngest? Well, we can use the max function. Do the same thing. Equal max of, click the first value, hold shift, end, and down arrow, close parentheses, and hit enter, and we'll see it's 1964. Okay, so uh, the difference of that is just going to be 47 years. Okay, so uh, what we could do if we wanted 12 categories, it looked like we can make our widths, or, 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 say, four years apart. Okay, so we have to set up the set of values that we want the Excel to group things into. Now, the way this works, let's see, let's start and maybe do the uh, first interval from, say, like 1916 to 1920. Now, what I have to do is to put in the left endpoint, 1920. Okay, now the next one would be from 1921 to 1924, but instead of putting in 1924 and then 1928, etc., etc., let's uh, let the... Excel fill that in. So under edit, we can go to fill. We want to fill a series in the column. Now our step value, we want to be four years. Four, and where do we want to stop? I think 1964 was the end point. Ah, so okay, that gives us our uh, values to fill. All right, we don't need these values anymore. Okay, so these are our bin values. So how do we uh, apply the uh, frequency tool to this? Well, we go to Tools, it's under Data Analysis, of course, and uh, it'll be down here. We can find the histogram. Okay, and let's see. We'll have to clear, make sure we can clear out everything that we've had here before. All right, so we'll click the first one. Again, we can highlight the entire range by going to uh, holding the shift, then the end, and then down arrow. Okay, now what about our bin values? Clicking on the bin values, we want to uh, put our bin values in here. Okay, and now we want to put the output range. Well, I2 is a reasonably good spot here. Uh, be sure if you click here and then change this, make sure you don't accidentally change one of your other uh, values up here. So if we put this I2 in and we can just have it create the, the range. So hitting OK, ah, and there it gives us the, uh, the collection. So we had one number that's before 1920 that we know is 1917. Click four numbers from 1921 up through and including 1924, and etc. Okay, so we've collected the data distribution here. Uh, let's do a graph of this. Now, uh, the way to do the graph, let's just highlight the frequency. We don't want 
more. Remember, that's a check digit. Go to the chart wizard, pick the column graph. Um, it looks right. So let's fix up the series here uh, under the category x axis labels. We don't clearly don't want one, two, three, four. Well, temporarily, let's just put in the uh, bin values there. We'll change them shortly. I guess we don't really need a name. Let's look under our various. Let's get rid of the legend. Use a little more space. So, okay, so this is our uh, uh, distribution here. Now we can clean it up a little bit. Uh, we can right click this to format data series under options. Remember, we can, to be a histogram, technically we should have no gap there. And if I move this down a little bit, we can make it a little larger. Now, you see one of the problems with this is that these right-hand endpoints are listed under the columns that we have here. And so uh, what we need to do is to, to change that. All right, now how can we change that? Well, we can change that by uh, going over here and using the midpoints of these intervals. Now, remember, the first interval represented 1916 to 1920. So halfway between there would be 1918. And then well, I could make this 1922. Let's use the data fill to do our values for us. So remember, we wanted to use every four points here. And our stop value was what well, should be 1962. Click OK. OK, now notice what happens when we change those. It, the histogram uh, automatically changed the values. And so there we have our, our data distribution with the uh, showing the distribution of ages of or the years of birth of the current members of the Senate. So we've got 100 data values collected there. Well, that's, that's it. Thanks for stopping by.